Hello everyone and welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. In the last session, we freed Tyr, we made it back from Svartalheim to Midgard, and then things changed as we started to play Atreus for the first time and came to find Freya, who we have just had a good conversation with, which kind of ended with us giving her a bunch of information that we probably shouldn't have given her. And uh, she... <laughs> She then let us go, but is now off to presumably get her full power back and then come and kill Kratos. So that's okay. not going to go well. I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit to Syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if, if Kratos fi finds out about this, which he no doubt will, that's going to go real badly. I do think this was a very misguided. I, think I like climbing. Misguided idea by our boy here. Has not worked out the way he hoped. Oh, thank you, Mia. Hello. You're all right. How did it go? I was starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's going to help us. What a shocker. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh, I was thinking and I, uh, <laughs> got rid of it. Yeah, man. She took it, didn't she? <laughs> she did. Uh, Today was your lucky day. So tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... Uh-oh. I just fixed that! <laughs> Not bad, not bad. I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea, yeah. man. Good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. Oh, yeah? I'll tell you on the way back. Okay. Come on. Uh, how are we getting back? This way? Do <laughs> <laughs> they ever quit? Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Rock died. You what? I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri... Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. Can we get That's the fourth not part the same back? Thing. Got to imagine we'll be going back to Alfheim at some point. Can we get the fourth part? How is he? How is he alive and functioning if he's only got three quarters of a soul? How does that work? Uh, uh. 
I love the way he runs. <laughs> that looks so funny. Really? Now? Go on, take a swing, mate. Take a swing. Or don't. Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean? A choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. <laughs> Short for a Treyas. Trey. Oh. <laughs> So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? Oh, whatever, Loke. <laughs> no, that was worse. Oh, and I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? Let's. I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to- Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. Go, go, go. I thought he was going to be waiting right in front. <laughs> like, just knew that we'd... I, I, I feel like maybe he's going to be sat looking at the door or something. There's no way we're getting away with this, right? That concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? Oh, maybe. I trust their wisdom. And this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the Giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother. Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Pee? Hope you're all hungry. <laughs> I could eat. <laughs> Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. <laughs> Is this sausage? Uh, sure, why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Hmm. Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. Home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The Shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The Knowledge Keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the Seer who saw everything? Hmm. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hmm. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. Hmm. 
More for me. <laughs> this feels like such an awkward family dinner. I love it. <laughs> cool. Travel to Alfheim. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. All right. So, where did this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. Cool. Anything from you? These clothes be better than I can. Darn straight. And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get the silk seat for. The landlord? He's not the landlord. <laughs> uh, okay. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. <laughs> Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? Okay, do we have any upgrades? Uh, no, no stone wood. Nope. No dwarven steel. And Atreus? Uh... Right, that's an Atreus thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kratos? What about your son? I mean, we have a lot of beast scraps, apparently. What I would don't be? Know. I wonder how often we'll be playing as Atreus through the game. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Did you almost forget him? Can't be going forgetting the mirror now. Excuse me, sir. Pardon? Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? <laughs> uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Ratatuska! Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And the particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off, I'm busy! <laughs> I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, <sighs> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <sighs> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, 
You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. He's voiced by, um, ProZD, right? If you know him, YouTuber. Well, I mean, voice actor, I guess, primarily, but I know him as a YouTuber. Pretty sure that's him. Ah, so that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Okay, so... Paths, paths split like branches of the Yggdrasil. Alfheim awaits with a long and difficult journey. The training grounds of Niflheim hold secret rewards. Svartalheim may hold unfinished business. Choose carefully. Well, shit. Well, shit. <laughs> that seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places. A realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Svartalheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. I think we did everything we can do in Svartalheim for now. There's obviously some things we need to go back for later on, but for now, that's everything. So, Alfheim is main quest, but it says a long and difficult journey in Alfheim, so I guess we should probably go Niflheim, if this is like, side area. I'm hoping it's not going to be the same as in 2018. Because uh, <laughs> we did all of Niflheim in 2018, and that was a, like, roguelike kind of setup with a timer, and, like, you could only be in the Niflheim area for a very short period of time, have to keep going back and forth, and we opened every single chest in the center, and it was a whole thing. It was a long ordeal, and, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if I want to do all of that again, so I'm hoping Niflheim is going to be a bit different, but, uh... It's a side quest, so let's go see, I guess. The Raven Tree. Travel here for a place to practice and improve. Okay. If we're not going to Alfheim yet, it's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enriar? I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla and... Radatuska, a large and extremely talkative squirrel who claims to take care of the World Tree. He is overly familiar, yet seems harmless and benevolent. His spectral aspects have aided us before and may again. He revealed that the stone given to Atreus by Dina was a seed for use in realm travel. If he continues to prove useful, I may tolerate his excessive blather. I really like him. That was a great character in Trio, I think. Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Hmm. That's why they were all locked up and shit in the first game, perhaps. Okay. Uh. Well, that is not the Niflheim I remember. <laughs> what? This is entirely different. Niflheim wasn't an icy realm. That was Helheim. Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. This is completely different. Bro, what do you think about fate? I don't. Either your life's all written down somewhere or it ain't. Still feels like you're making choices either way. The shit smells the same regardless of how it got shat. Remind me to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> There's something over here. Ah, a memory of war. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. Right. Uh So what what is it actually wanting Those? us to do here? Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? Ah. So it would seem. Hello. How's it going, lads? Free are we. Free of the father. Our half lives now belong to no other. What do you think that means? I don't know. But there's definitely something more going on here. Oh god. 
is going to be dependent on how many you've opened, isn't it? It's going to be like, yeah, Ravens required 8 of 12. Oh, fuck me, 8 of 18. Because there was no real reward for getting them all in the first game, right? It was just a collectible checklist. Now there's actual reward. The thoughts. I can't read them. They seem to like us, though. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. Shit. Oh wait, 8 of 48, 8 of 38, oh wait, no, yeah, the 48, so yeah, that's, this one only opens when you have all 48. Well, I can tell you what chest is never getting opened, it's like at least those three. <laughs> so is that everything here then, is that it? That's, this is like an entirely different vibe to, what do you call it, to the first game. I mean, let's just try this out, I guess, but I'm not really into training arenas, so... There is no XP or hack silver gain. You have infinite health and accelerated cooldowns. I mean, it's lit now. There's no point. There is literally no point. It's like Musfulheim, but without any progression or reason to be there. You got the materials. Hmm. I got some more stuff for you. Okay. Well, I guess we just uh, unmark that then. And go back and do what we were supposed to do, I guess. Huh. I thought that was going to be a whole thing. <laughs> it was literally five minutes and like a, you'll only probably come here one more time ever, I guess. <laughs> well, I'm currently locked. Right, I have to go back home first. The mirror. I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. What are you thinking? You want to try and bring him back? Which, so those are the four parts. Which part did Sindri not recover for Brock? Hello, door? Why have you spawned all the way over here? Ah, there you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. Hello. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Oh, yeah? Here, do you know Rata Tosker? Of course. We were just catching up in your absence. Of the squirrels I've conversed with, he's easily the most dapper. <laughs> What's up? Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? Sure. A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Anyhow, I have a question. was there... Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithhog. Neithhog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neatho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neatho is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. <laughs> well, stay safe, everyone. Nothing more to say? Alright. Cool. Okay. Well, then.
it is time to go back to Alfheim. First time this game. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure I can. We murdered a whole lot of elves. <laughs> then Kratos forced his way into the Alfheim light of Alfheim. The first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then yeah, but that's broken now, right? Army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alfheim. <laughs> Did they now? Is Alfheim? Are we going to open this door, and Alfheim's going to be fucked? Are we about to severely regret our choices? I thought we'd come out outside. Alfheim. Well, it's, it's winter. So Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. Graffiti in Dark Elf territory next to a statue of their ancestors, the elves before the division of light and dark. The message being what exactly, and for who? Either the elves have seen this statue and ignored it, or they're more concerned with mastery over the light. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alfheim. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ragnarok hasn't done him any favors yikes thimble winter hit alfheim hard no storms have plagued alfheim's deserts long before thimble winter seems pretty fucked <laughs> the living desert huh it was once full of life you know the Jewel of Alfheim is our most sacred and fertile desert, teeming with an unequal diversity of life from the majestic Hafgufa Hf and their dulcet Song of the Sands to the wide array of turtles and lizards found in the Hyata, and the abundant herds of gazelle and ebex roaming the shifting dunes. All creatures of the desert are given breath by the grace of the light. Take a moment to witness the grandeur and reflect. Keep well thy realm. And music. The Song of the Sands, he called it. Oh, now. Huh. Can you fit through here? Hold on. No, you're jumping over the I top. I hear something okay. out there. Something big. It's in pain. Hello. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the dark elves get on best they can. Two. Uh. Hmm. Where's three gonna be? Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. Which one? Sorry. You're saying it like I can see it, but I super don't. Uh, hmm. Where, where is it? It sounded like he was saying it as though he could see it. 
There, the Temple of Light. Ah. Groa's shrine is at the top. Frost eyes. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting Nornia's dress. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Uh, one out of three. Very well. Oh, we can't go back out that way. Wow, the light of Alfheim is very dim once again, huh? But we're starting a lot closer to the temple this time. <laughs> when we arrived last time, it was fucking miles away. bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yeah. <laughs> Cut the different cloth. <laughs> Wonder if we'll meet him. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. Twilight stone will reflect an axe throw. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. There's a gap in the fence over there. Interesting. So we need to bang it onto there to break the lock. Oh, very okay. clever. Interesting. What the fuck? Okay. Kill wretches. <laughs> Can do. My pleasure. Still alive? Sure. Mumia, do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. Uh, a a Cavasso work of brilliance that, if misunderstood, proves the ignorance of the reader. Stick, rope, tar, black, skin, handprint, baby crying, shower, stink, death, beach, grubs, delicious, bomb, piss. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Hello, Scardi's Edge, a tracking axe throw that ricochets between targets, marked by pressing R1. What? Wait, so you like freeze time and then... Hmm. Seems kind of like too much effort to be worth it. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. 
Yeah, Did and... you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. What? That's uh -oh. enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Is that a bomb? Oh, yeah, that's a bomb. Damn, get him. We're the ones who freed the light. Light Elf. The discovery of the Lake of Souls marked the beginning of the Great Schism within Alfheim. The Light Well harnessed the power of the light, and the elves who spent their days basking in its glow became obsessed with their newfound power. They found new ways to express themselves through art and invention. It was a time of great prosperity for half of Alfheim. Once the realm's living desert began to wither, the other half of the realms deemed to the cost of progress too high, thus spawning the violent circle of conflict that continues to this day. So last time we only felt we only fought uh, the dark elves, and I guess this time we will probably fight both. But obviously, we will also. Okay, so you can block. I see. Jesus. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. Yeah, I don't think they give a shit. <laughs> I hate Alpha. Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. He vote. <laughs> Gonna need some health. Oh, another one already? Tribute to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. This charm is meant to absorb nightmares. The principle behind such magic is not a local one, but a theory picked up by Tyr from the Western Lands. The premise is a simple one. Nightmares seek us out in the dark, hoping to crawl into our minds and corrupt them from within. Charms such as this are meant to distract and trap the nightmares, tangling them up in the charm's threads until sunrise can incinerate the devious bastards. <laughs> in this case, flares. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. So... We still don't have a way of dealing with this, do we? It's got to be an arrow type. I, I imagine it's going to be an arrow type. And we just haven't got it yet. Best and that, move on for now, brother. We can't do anything don't with think either. We have the right tools for this one. Sag. Well. Here we are at the entrance. So tall. 